waiting for your coffee. Okay. Let's get your tent. Come on! Oh, oh, no, no, no. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, I'm putting you in your tent. Hold on. Ay, ay, ay. Hi. Hi. Okay. All right. All right. And we're Welcome to the channel. If you're new, we're Scarlet and Seth, and we live in a van, but not this van. So this is actually our friend's van. Um, you might know them. Their names are Court and Nate. When they heard the trouble we were having with our van, they've been through a very similar situation and they actually own two vans. So this is their second van and they reached out and said that we were welcome to live in it. We rented a car, we got out of that hotel room and we drove 20 hours south to San Diego, California, which is where we are right now. And yeah, we have a little temporary home on wheels and it feels so good to be back in a van. Super cozy little van. Yeah. Shout out to Coordinate. You may be wondering to yourself, like, why would you drive 20 hours to go to San Diego? Like, what the heck is that all about? And obviously part of it was this van and getting into this van. Another part of it is that a friend of ours has a shop location down here and actually builds vans professionally. And we are renting a little bit of space because we have a super exciting project that we want to talk to you guys about. In case you haven't noticed, we're absolutely obsessed with the ladies and one of our main priorities in life is to keep them happy and healthy for as long as possible and Pretty Litter helps us do just that. So if you watched last week's video, you know that Sasha went to the vet for what we thought was a UTI but actually turned out to be crystals in her bladder and the only reason we were able to catch it so early on is because we use Pretty Litter which is an at-home monitoring tool that actually changes color based on the pH of your cat's urine to indicate potential health issues. Pretty Litter actually saw our video and we're kind enough to sponsor this week's episode. So we initially saw that Sasha's urine was turning blue in her litter, which according to Pretty Litter may indicate certain types of urinary tract infections or increased risk of stone formation. Turns out Pretty Litter was spot on because the vet was able to run a urinalysis and tell us that crystals were present in her bladder. She also said it was a very good thing that we caught it when we did because it didn't have time to develop into something more serious like kidney stones, which would have needed to be surgically removed instead we were able to just put her on a special diet and start reducing stress living in less than 70 square feet we also have to be very aware of smells but thankfully pretty litter has super absorbent gel crystals that actually absorb moisture and dehydrate solids so it's a very low maintenance litter and leaves us with a much fresher smelling home Sasha also has feline asthma and dust is a huge trigger for her so we love that Pretty Litter is 99.9% .9 dust free. Pretty Litter is also 80% lighter than traditional clumping cat litter which means we can travel with more at a time. We're usually traveling with anywhere from 3 to 6 bags so we can stay stocked up for months at a time. And whenever we have the luxury of having an address like we do right now, it's super easy to just place an order online and get it delivered right to our doorstep. Go to prettylitter.com and use our code Scarlet and Seth20 and get 20% off your first order. This is Lewis, our very first van that we bought back in 2019 and lived in for three years. We never sold him with the goal of eventually rebuilding him and each having our own van. We figured with our van still in the shop and really no idea of when we were going to get it back, there was no better time. Lewis always feels like our roots. He's like how we started van life. He was our first van. We never sold him because we just kind of like always knew that we were going to need him at some point for this to be what we get to do during this time. I mean, this is the worst experience we've ever had in van life. Like 
our less than a year old van breaking down completely. We don't even have it. It doesn't even feel like we built that van. It feels like we don't own it anymore. And I keep trying to remind myself like we'll get it back, but it doesn't feel like that right now. So to be able to just like focus all of our energy on kind of the thing that started it all for us is very, very cool. And we're excited like for everything that this van is gonna allow, solo van life, winter van life, and international van life. We really wanna ship Lewis overseas because he's so small. Yeah, it's just gonna open up so many doors for van life. And that's very, very cool because like we're not over van life. We actually drove Lewis out from our storage unit on the East Coast to our storage unit on the West Coast this winter. And when this happened, it kind of just showed us the importance of like having a reliable backup plan. And Lewis is that backup plan. It's been going really, really well so far. We've been working on the build about 10 or 11 days now. We've kind of set ourselves a challenge of doing it in about 30 days. So I'm super excited to show you guys the progress that we've made in the last 10 days and take you through a little bit of basically just a day of working on this thing. Lewis! Yes, buddy. Leave a comment below if you've been here since Lewis. We first built him in 2019. Let us know if you're an OG. In here you can see we've got some strapping. Uh, the ceiling has actually been insulated and we have this nice panel up on top of it. We got some door card panels going on out here on the back doors and the side doors. And then I think one of the most challenging projects that we've worked on so far has actually been installing all these windows. The really cool thing about them is they're all awning style windows and they have built in shades and screens. Yeah, so it's just like an incredible setup for this. If you're wondering, these are actually discontinued uh, S4 Dometic windows. So they're a little bit tricky to get your hands on. Uh, you have to basically go search around on eBay. And that's actually the same thing we did for the skylight. This is a window that we installed on the roof and we had to modify it so that it drains properly. Um, I just wouldn't necessarily recommend it. Again, this is our van. If anything happens, we're not ever planning to sell this thing, but before everyone gets excited and is like, oh, that's a sick skylight. It's not really a skylight. Uh, the really cool thing about it though is that it does also have built-in screen and built-in shade. And when this door is closed. Full windows all around. How cool is that? Aside from that, uh, we've actually also done the subfloor um, and underneath the subfloor, we have a really cool feature. We decided to basically pre-install a hydronic system in the floor. One of our huge goals for Lewis is to be able to travel in essentially any climate. And so that's going to be super beneficial for that. I will say though, because we're on a budget and because those units are around $5,000 to fully install, we just decided to do our own hydronic floor and we're going to install that later down the line because it's not something we need immediately right now. We've got some fun little features like this, this little curved shelf that we've put in here. Oh, we've got our wiring in and we've actually already built most of the cabinets for the van. So we're going to go ahead and get that in here and show you guys kind of the layout because once the cabinets go in you can get a sense of the layout and it's really cool okay enough yapping let's see what we've been getting up to out here this right here is our bench we have this very cool curve this is our kitchen unit again you can see we have a curve here and we're actually gonna do something really cool with two swivel seats so you can actually swivel the driver's side seat and still sit very comfortably like in front of the kitchen and then this is our floor to ceiling unit. We have to do some final measurements here so that Scarlett knows exactly where she's prepping and painting. And actually we're doing something really cool. Do you wanna show them the palette? So as you guys may or may not know, we used Roman clay for the first time in our van that we live in that's broken down. Um, and we loved it so much that we are going to be doing Roman clay again. But this time we're gonna be bringing back the dark theme. We've done a few dark builds. Um, so this is what it's going to look like. Let's get these cabinets in the van. Oh. So 
So Lewis is five and a half feet wide, so five, six wide. And he's actually only eight foot three long. He's also only five, three tall, yeah. only five, two, now that we have the uh, subfloor with the hydronic system in it. So it's five, two by five, six by eight foot three. And it is very, very tiny. So by incorporating two swivel seats, you basically extend that eight foot three length to about 10 feet or so. And that's part of the reason, like Scarlett was talking about earlier, why we incorporated so many curves. You couldn't ask for much more, honestly, no. out of this thing. No, let's take you through the rest of the space. So one of the reasons we put the skylight where we did was obviously this is your main area where you will be standing. With the skylight here, we can actually stand while cooking, which will be very nice because really having lived in Lewis previously, the only time we're stand not standing is a huge deal is when you're cooking. This is gonna be closed a good portion of the time, especially in winter and stuff. So we wanted to make the layout function not only with standing height, which is super cool, but also when the whole thing is kind of closed up and sealed up in like a winter trip or whatever, so that we can sit and still use all that. So that's why all the cabinetry in here is kind of like very, very custom dimensions that we took a while to dial in. And then in these two sections here, we will have lots of storage um, and drawers that pull out. So something you should know right away is that this is actually going to be closed off. So this will just be, appear to be one massive wall. However, we are actually going to have this wall fold down and it is going to rest on these benches here. And then we are going to be able to sleep, except the bed will be here and it'll come out to about there. Um, and what's really cool is you can open that back door and kind of have like views. But when that wall is up, this is kind of like what it, what the living space will feel like. We're going to do a very cool slatted feature with some LEDs. Um, this is our floor to ceiling unit. We very much dislike having to bend down to access the fridge. So we love having an eye level fridge. Um, so this is where our fridge is going to go and then this is going to be one massive drawer for all of our dry goods and food i obviously like can't show you the bench because we have some big openings here but this is an l bench we're actually doing something a little different this time and going with the trilino composting toilet uh, in the past we've used the cutty composting toilet but it was just a little too big given like how low these benches actually are to the floor um, so this is where our toilet is going to go in this gap right here. And then all of this, um, you'll be able to hinge up a lid here and this will all be storage. Speaking of storage, I'll take you to the back to show you one of the coolest features of this build. Scarlet's the, the wall. wall. You can't see past me. So back here is going to be all the bedding, the mattress, and it'll all kind of fold up in half like that. So kind of what having that bed that folds up allows is that we also, oh my God, is that we are going to have this massive floor to ceiling garage. And this is something I have always wanted because we've always prioritized like full-time living because we've only ever had one van. But now that we have two vans, this is really going to be a way for us to travel with a lot of gear. So hiking equipment, backpacking, climbing, surfing, skiing, all of the things that I feel like we can't really do. This is massive. I still can't get over it. That's it. That's the layout. Whew. That's uh, let us know what you think in the comments. Uh, now we need to mark out all this stuff. And I would draw down here yeah. too, because. Okay. Just like that, we're back to square one. Real dusty in here. All right, let's sand.
Hello, ladies. This is where you can use it. Stop. Nope. This is the food Sasha has been prescribed. Uh, it's for urinary care. So hopefully this will help get rid of her crystals that she has. Yummy. That's the good stuff right there. Dinner? Dinner? Dinner. Not on that stove. <laughs> on this bad boy right here. Um, huh. what did you want to eat? Pasta? Where is it? Oh. Dude, I like these little boxes of pasta. This is sick. Oh, we have sun dried tomatoes. Sun dried tomatoes. That would be good. I also have an onion. Hell yeah. A fire meal right there. Oh, that's gonna fall! Oh my god! Oh, oh god! Oh god! Jesus. Put, it <laughs> Put it on the counter. Put it on the counter. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm nervous. Oh my gosh, sisters. Wow, that's actually so cute. Blash? Can we borrow, Can we borrow table? the table? Oh. Girl. Oh, sorry. Take him, Blash. That's rude. Can I help you? No. Don't do it. Don't do it. Put that little bean down. Before we get the red lights on, it's time for bed. Good night, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.